Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be watching the 10 most expensive cars in the world 2023 edition and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get straight into the fucking video. Extreme super sports cars that are built in very small quantities, if not even as unique pieces, and bring a lot of horsepower to the road. They have everything. Engines with stratospheric performance, highly advanced components made of exotic materials, and of course top coatings and finishes. And even if we may rarely or never see these 10 models in the wild, what remains yeah, just like get get but see for yourself. Number 10, Bugatti Chiron, Super Sport 300 Plus, $3.5 million. The Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus is the most extreme version of the Chiron ever built. The plus at the end of the name stands for the fact that thanks to its over 1600 horsepower engine, it reaches more than 299 miles per hour. I never understood that. Why would they put a speedometer that would go past 100? Because as soon as you go past 100, you get a ticket if a cop catches you speeding. Isn't that like just making people do it so they can catch them right away? That's kind of stupid though. Whatever, fucking losers. Power on its speedometer. The Volkswagen subsidiary Bugatti then built the special edition of the hypercar in series. What sounds like mass production at first glance is, however, like most vehicles on this list, a strictly limited small series production. Only 30 units of the record vehicle Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300 Plus have been built since 2019. To get one of the 1600 horsepower vehicles, buyers must be willing to pay more than $3.5 million. <laughs> I will never be able to afford Number that. nine, Lamborghini Veneno Roadster, $4 million. The Audi subsidiary, oh, looks... Lamborghini produces only nine vehicles of the exotic collector's item. That looks okay. Lamborghini I, I Veneno I in the open this, version okay. as a so-called Roadster. Under its hood is the classic 6.5 liter V12 engine that produces 750 horsepower and propels the Veneno up to 220 miles per hour. There are only five coupes. The coupe alone would make it into the list with a purchase price of around $3.5 million. As a convertible, the Veneno costs even more at its presentation in 2015 with well over $4 million. For comparison, $4 million for car, the Lamborghini bro. Aventador is available in its point. basic version for only $320,000. Number 8. Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita $4.3 million. The body of the Swedish sports okay, car is, manufacturer Koenigsegg is made of diamond-coated carbon. The diamond special edition carbon. CCXR Trevita is powered by a 4.8-liter well, okay, Viterbo V8 like engine with over 1,000 horsepower and achieves the sprint from 0 to 60 in like less than 3 it seconds. Like it's not a surprise that this supercar comes with a purchase price of around $4.3 million. At the beginning of the development, only three units were supposed to be built, okay, that, but the production too. turned out to be more complex than initially assumed. Eventually, Koenigsegg stopped after two cars. One of them was bought... So the price doesn't come from the actual car. It comes from the, the materials made and, like... How many there is? <laughs> Three of them, all diamond carbon coated? Yeah. By the eccentric I boxing the world champion like Floyd Mayweather from the shit. United States. Number seven, Pagani Huayra Imola, $5 million. Okay. The Italian sports car manufacturer. I can literally smack that light off. Look at it, bro. It's just held by like a little piece of metal. Schurer only built five models of the Huayra Imola. And every customer was involved in the development process, which is why this special edition was sold out before production and delivery. The Pagani Huayra Imola is a car dedicated entirely to speed. This means that this hypercar must be light and carbon is mandatory. Pagani goes one step further. The engineers have found a special coating to save a few pounds and achieve a final weight of less than 2,755 pounds. With 827 horsepower, the Imola is the most powerful vehicle from the Pagani stable yeah, and costs around $5 million. Five million. I would never. Also at number seven, with a price of five million dollars, we have another super sports car. Looks like the Bugatti ass. Devo. A big old butt cheek. The Bugatti Devo is the See, evolution of the nice. Chiron. I, I would feel comfortable the Bugatti this. Devo is named after the French pilot and racing driver Albert Devo, who won the Grand Prix but six I am times, an SUV among other things. I like SUVs. 
Like the base model Chiron, the, the Devo has 1,500 horsepower and reaches top speeds beyond 248 miles per hour. Fuck that. In total, 40 units of this special edition were produced. However, top speed is not the top priority for this hypercar. Bugatti advertised the car at the presentation as follows. The Devo has better performance in terms of lateral acceleration, agility, and cornering. The Devo is made for cornering. For this fun, however, customers have to dig deep into their pockets. Bugatti is asking for five million dollars. Five mil, buddy. Number six, Mercedes Maybach Accelero, eight million dollars. Uh, how? Super expensive and super rare. The oh, Mercedes rare, Maybach okay. Accelero is actually a one-of-a-kind car that was ordered by tire manufacturer Fulda, the German subsidiary of Goodyear, to test new high-speed tires. The body was designed by four students from Pforzheim University. The car was presented in 2005. Powered by a twin-turbocharged V12 engine with 690 horsepower, it was later purchased by rapper Birdman for $8 million. Number 5. Bugatti Cento Dieci. $9.5 million. Ten units are to be produced in Molsheim, France, and delivered from 2021 onwards. Yeah, I want to With see a the purchase price of about $9.5 million, the Nine Cento Dieci is almost twice as expensive as the also strictly limited Devo series and has 100 more horsepower than the base version Bugatti Chiron with 1,600 horsepower. The Cento Dieci is a tribute to the legendary EB110 from the 1990s. I can see it, it can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.4 seconds, reach 125 mph in just 6 seconds, and break the barrier of 186 mph in only 13 seconds. However, at 236 mph, Bugatti limits its supercar. If you guys made it this far, guess what the last car's price is. Because... Yeah, I'm going to say 20 mil, uh, but yeah, I guess the price and we'll see who's right. Despite the limit, the price still goes up. In this case, $9.5 million are due. Number four, Rolls-Royce Sweptail, $13 million. Okay, Luxury well, steals the show wrong. from performance in the Rolls-Royce Sweptail. In essence, it is a special version of a production model commissioned by a customer who wanted to replicate the style of his own plane and yacht. I would never, never put Based that on the Rolls-Royce Phantom, car, uh, the Sweptail took you four so years to create. That. It was produced and sold well, as a unique piece. Their value, so it's kind of Neither the price. unknown ah. customer nor Rolls-Royce themselves commented on the exact price. A sum of more than $10 million was often rumored, and many media outlets estimate a price around $13 million. Number three. Pagani Zonda like, HP Barquetta. Okay. 15. If you telling me you're gonna drive this, bro, look, why look, look how small the front is. Like you sit here, your legs go here. Ah, oh, no, I don't like that. Ah, uh, the coloring is shit. This just looks like someone took a bite out of it. I don't know. Million dollars. <laughs> Only three limited edition supercars were produced. And out of these three Barquettas, only two are available for customers, with one going to company founder Horacio Pagani himself. The HP in the name of the 760 horsepower sports car stands for the founder's initials. The HP Barquetta is the most expensive, demanding, and exclusive version of the Zonda. The car with which Horacio Pagani began his adventure in the world of supercars. Under the hood lies the massive 7.3-liter Mercedes 512 engine, never. which is tuned for maximum Give performance. It to me, I'll sell it Although the price oh, no, has actually, never been officially it communicated, it later experts strongly believe it to be close to the $15 million mark. $15 million. Okay, so I'm probably wrong. Number two. Bugatti La Voiture okay, Noire, nice. $16.7 million. That is what I drive. The silver medal goes to car manufacturer could, Bugatti, but 16 mil, man. Fuck that whose man. models are the most frequently represented in the ranking of the world's most expensive cars. I would never make that in my cars. whole lifetime, bro, no matter what La I do. La Voiture Noire, French for the black car, was the car with which Bugatti well celebrated its 100th right anniversary. But you know what? The body is made of deep black it. carbon, with each individual part crafted by hand. The reinterpretation of the lost Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic from the 1930s was produced as a one-off and sold to an unknown buyer for the astronomical sum of $16.7 million. 
Wow, okay. I'm the buyer pissed. was the subject of wild speculation at the 2019 Geneva Motor Show, with various media reports suggesting that the most likely candidate was multiple world footballer of the year, Messi, star striker Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo. However, these rumors have yet to be confirmed. The Bugatti La Voiture Noire has a 16-cylinder W engine with 1,500 horsepower and a top speed of 260 miles per hour. Bugatti itself does not view the one-off car as an extreme supercar, but rather describes it as a comfortable long-distance coupe. Number 1. Rolls-Royce Boat Tail, $23 million. Oh, I was close. Recently <laughs> unveiled, the new Rolls-Royce Boat Tail was built on... Okay. Straight up, that looks like shit. I would not get that. I would get it for just investment purposes. I would not drive that. Bro, the, the car before this was sick. And it was handmade. I like that car. You know, honestly, leave a comment which one you would prefer. Out of your, what's your favorite fucking car? Because mine's number two. This this looks like... Only Baluba three times. Car. And all models have already been sold. The car is rumored to have cost around $23 million. But no. the manufacturer has not officially disclosed the sale price. Ten bucks. What makes this car special is that it not only has a rear end that resembles a yacht, but also a picnic function, where a picnic set is ejected. The most useless function I've ever seen. You're putting a picnic feature in a sports car. Not a sports car, but a luxury car. No, fuck you. From the wooden rear. Couldn't they just... Just brought a set and put it in the backseat or something? Or in the trunk? In the oh, trunk, wait. there is also a cooled compartment for champagne and a special umbrella. See, that feature, fine. Rumor has the it one. that the first model was sold to the couple Jay-Z and Beyonce. Rolls-Royce has not yet revealed the horsepower of the currently most expensive car in the world. These were the 10 most expensive cars in the world. Well, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.